type prints. Now I can start my morning. morning so here's my breakfast it's currently 10.02 a.m. I have a video that I want to go live at 11 I need to put a couple last-minute touches on the video before it goes live so I'm gonna be doing that while I have my breakfast mmm mmm really good So it's now 12.30. I've just been on my laptop for the past hour. My video went live at 11.30. So since then, I've just been taking care of like networking, responding to comments. I also changed some things around on my channel. Like for example, I changed my about section. So when you come here, I changed the description to tell you what kind of videos I make, when I post, and also including my business email and social media links. I also changed what you see when you first come onto my channel. The first thing that you see is my most viewed videos, and then if you scroll down, you see my current videos. I put three of my most popular slash my favorite playlists that I have, so I included my ASMR one because a lot of you guys love these videos. I need to make more. I know I need to start on that second ASMR channel. I'm working on it. And then I put my series videos. These videos mean so much to me, so I wanted to make sure to highlight them on my page. Then the I tried videos. These are also really special to me because I tried new things, like I tried being a mom for a day. And well, this one I just put here because it had a lot of views, but <laughs> I don't know. I think now is a good time to take a break from my laptop. I think I'm going to work out because I need to. I need to get my ass back in shape. I think I'm gonna do one or two workouts on YouTube. I thought that I would do something fun, something that'll keep me entertained and interested. So I'm gonna be following a Pamela Reef video. She makes these dancing workout videos, so it's kind of like a little bit of Zumba and kind of just like stretches and movements. So it really does get your heart rate up and you have fun while doing it and it doesn't even really feel like you're working out. <laughs> All you ladies pop. So that workout actually got me more tired than I expected it to be, which is a clear sign that I definitely need to do this more and that I 
need to be more consistent with my workouts. So, um, although it got me like a little bit out of breath and like sweaty and stuff, um, I still feel like I can do a little bit more. I don't want to only do a 15 minute workout. So I'm going to do this Chloe Ting 10 minutes toned arms workout. I've actually done this one before and it's fairly easy. I feel like it's not as intense as some of her other videos. I actually tried to do her abs in two weeks challenge and I was doing good. I was being consistent. The workouts were intense to say the least, but I was doing good. And then something came up where I needed to be there for someone in my life. And uh, that kind of just took up all my time and I forgot all about it. So that's why that video of me doing the two week challenge does not exist on my channel. So yeah, I'm gonna do this video right here really quick and then I'll be done with my workout. Hi, come on Choco, come on Zoe. Let's go eat. You guys wanna eat? Hello, hello Blue. And some food for the little ones as well. You wanna go outside? <laughs> Lou, look at me. Good boy. Are you excited? Be set free. For those of you wondering when we got a new dog, it happened very suddenly. He was a family dog, but then they couldn't take care of him. And then he came to live at our house and he was staying outside. And then summer came and it got really, really hot for him and he wasn't being properly taken care of and he just needed some more love and attention. Come here, Blue. And so um, Dre and I decided to make him our dog. He has his own room inside the house because he's huge. Our room is small as it is, so a dog as big as him in our room would not fit. That lifestyle would not work. So he <laughs> is a literal big child and he has a room. Not gonna lie, it's been a little challenging um, taking care of this guy because he's so big and clumsy and needy and loving and friendly. It's just been a challenge. Learning how to take care of a dog that isn't as small as our little ones because they're so small and he obviously is not. <laughs> but um, he's such a good dog. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> and I know that he's in good care now, so I'm happy about that. So this is Blue. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet ya, Lou. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> so lately, whenever I get out of the shower, I've been doing what's called the curly girl routine i've been testing it out i haven't perfected it yet i haven't gotten the curls to where i'm like absolutely in love with them but as you can see straight away from getting out of the shower my hair is already curly on its own it's so healthy ever since i cut it so i definitely definitely stand by the, that video that i made <laughs> so if you guys are thinking about cutting your hair at home just do it like look at me i'm glowing but the next step is to take this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I'm just going to take a glob like this and work it through. I'm trying not to brush out the curls while I do this. I'm kind of just trying to place it and then like scrunch it back up so that it doesn't lose its shape. And then I got this microfiber towel. It's called like the Turby Twist or something like that. And basically it's just a microfiber towel that I'm using to dry my hair while simultaneously scrunching it. And I guess this helps. And then you just twist and lock it in place. So I'm gonna leave this on for an hour so that it can dry, maybe an hour or two. Um, Dre is about to come home for his lunch break right now, so I'm gonna go serve us some lunch and then I'll check back in with you guys. So it's been about three hours since I showered. My hair is mostly dry. And the results are in. 
The front pieces of my hair are the curliest. I don't understand why because I feel like when I do use heat, I go the hardest on the front pieces of my hair. I just like really try to take out those curls and still they show me love. Not bad at all. And my hair smells great. If you guys have any more tips for curly hair, please leave them in the comments down below because I know little to nothing about how to manage curly hair, even though I've had it my entire life. I had really, really short hair, so my curls were just like, boom, like right there, like it was just pure curls. And so when I was younger, my experience with that was just using a lot of detangler and using gel, but never really knowing what products to style or how to style, how to take care of the curly hair, how to maintain it. So yeah, if you have any tips, let your girl know. So the other day I took this out of the closet. This is the vision board that I made for 2020. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not going so great. Because of the state that the world is in right now, travel is not really a priority. So there's some things on here that I would like to swap out because some of these things don't really matter. Some of these things are not achievable. And I realized yesterday that we are halfway through the year. Ever since things started getting bad, I literally just put this in my closet because I was like, you know what, forget 2020. Like, we're gonna throw her away, she's canceled. Nothing is gonna happen this year. And I hate that I put myself in that mindset. We still have half the year. Yes, things can still go terribly wrong and the world could end for all I know. But I don't wanna live day to day not fulfilling my needs, my goals, my wants because I feel like the world is gonna end. It's time to dust this off and add some new pictures that reflect what I want to manifest for the remainder of the year. But let's go over this really quickly. Like, what did I want to happen? What have I done? This picture right here symbolizes going on a plane for the first time. Miraculously, I managed to do this one in the beginning of the year, just before everything started happening. I really, really wanted to travel to New York City in December, but for obvious reasons and for several other reasons, um, that's not gonna be happening. So I'm gonna be taking this one off. Maybe I'll save it for next year if we're alive, I don't know. The next place that I wanted to go to this year was the Grand Canyon. I think that this one is still achievable, but honestly, I think I'm gonna just not do that this year. And if things change, then things change and you know, I'll end up going, but I feel like there's more important things that I can put on my board. It just doesn't feel right. I don't understand people that... Anyway, wellness was another really important um, aspect that I wanted to focus on this year. And making myself a priority stood for confronting uh, problems and people that I had in my life. And I actually did that uh, earlier this year and that was nice to get off my chest. Nothing was resolved. The thing with this bottom one right here, uh, your mental health is a priority um it's just something that i wanted to keep in mind and remind myself that if i'm not feeling up to things if i need to rest i will rest if you know i'm feeling sad i will let myself feel those emotions and things like that i'm gonna keep these on there because these are very important working out was something i also wanted to do this year and i was doing great i was in the gym in the beginning of the year and then everything happened and <laughs> Then I started working out at home, and then I stopped working out at home, and then today I started working out at home again. So things are looking up. This one is also a very fun one. This one is about learning ASL. I've always wanted to learn ASL, and in the beginning of the year when we first made these vision boards, uh, my boyfriend and I started learning, and then we stopped learning. <laughs> Do you see the pattern here? It's just like... Ah, <sighs> hate that. But anyway, it happens. Started picking ASL back up again. We started watching videos. And so now we're practicing. We're like signing to each other every time we can. And I think today, maybe after this, I'll put on an ASL lesson and I'll practice by myself. Moving on to this one, room makeover. I don't know if you can tell, but my room has changed quite a bit and a room makeover video is coming very very soon so if you're not subscribed already if you don't have the notification bell turned on already please do so right now because you do not want to miss this ultimate 
bedroom transformation. Moving on to this one right here. At the end of 2019, I had 6K subscribers. So my goal for 2020 was to double that this year and have 12K. So far, we're halfway through the year and we're only at 7K. So 5,000 more to go. <laughs> if you guys like this video, I don't know, maybe share it with your friends, share it on your story. Leave a comment down below saying how much you enjoyed this video. I don't know if you guys know this, but engagement on videos such as like and comments they really help boost videos onto the YouTube algorithm basically when YouTube sees that the audience is interacting with the videos and that it's performing well and that people seem to like it then it's more likely for YouTube to push those videos to the YouTube recommended section then that's how you get more views um, because more people are getting suggested your videos so I'm not saying you have to watch the ads but like that could put money in my pocket too if you want to you know support me for free but yeah work in progress still doing this consistency this was something that i lacked as a child so <laughs> i lack this as a child therefore i crave this as an adult if i feel like something is off then i feel off and it's a weird balance so that that's over with let's go ahead and cut some of these out and i'll explain what they mean I think the number one thing that I want to accomplish this year is to graduate. I have been in college for four years and in the fall it'll be four years and one semester. But I will have my degree and I'll have completed a goal of mine that I've always wanted to achieve. I realized these last few months I was focusing on things that I had no control over. It can be frustrating and ultimately leave you feeling helpless and stuck. So moving forward, I want to focus on things that I can control and let go of things that I cannot. Another thing that I can control is my hair. I've been saying that I want to dye my hair for the longest. I think I'm finally going to do it. And the last thing that I'm going to put on here is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and that's drop some new merch and actually create my own store and my own little business. I have so many ideas, I just need to find vendors and do all that business stuff behind the scenes, but this is something that I want to accomplish during 2020. I feel like I have the time, I feel like I have the resources, I think it could be great. Like I mentioned earlier, I have been getting into doing ASL lessons and watching videos about ASL on YouTube. And I just found this website that I'm gonna start using. It's called Lingvano. I don't know, I just found it. So let's see if it's good. Hello, welcome. How are you? Pretty cool. I have to fill in the gap now, so she's signing the word deaf. ASL lesson speed round. Nice to meet you. Yes. No. Where? Learn. I love that one. Student. Teacher. Sign or version two. Sign. Communicate. Deaf. Hearing. Fine. Good. Thank you, mom, dad, sister. And that concludes our ASL lesson speed round. Thank you for joining in. See you next time.